वेलकम बैक एवरी वन आई एम राजदीप आचार्या एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस एंड को डोमिनेंस सो बेसिकली टूडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस एंड को डोमिनेंस सो लेट स्टार्ट वॉट एक्चुअली इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस वॉन्ट टू स्टेट वेन द होमो जाइगस डोमिनेंट एलिल फेल टू एक्सप्रेस इन दिटे टो जाइगस सो बेसिकली हो इन द होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट एलिल फेल टू एक्सप्रेस इन दिटेरोजाइगस दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडीशन व्हेन कम दिस विल बी टर्म्ड एस इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस so when the homozygous dominant allele fail to express in the heterozygous i mean the f1 the f1 this type of condition will be termed as incomplete dominance so let's explain it in brief so suppose we take trait so we are taking trait of flower color so we are taking trait of flower color one color is red and another color color is white so one color is red and another color is white so we are taking trait of flower color one color is red and another color is white for the red color the r allele actually responsible for the red color and for the white color the w allele is responsible for the white color now the dominant allele is actually the r which is responsible for the red color and the recessive allele is actually w which is actually responsible for the white color in the flower color and when we will do a cross in between them we we will get r w in the f1 generation i mean the heterozygous the r w will come in the f1 generation i mean the in the heterozygous so basically this so basically according to mendel this should be actually red according to mendel this should be is this should be red but we we need to keep it in our mind that this is incomplete dominance and in incomplete dominance the homozygous dominant allele fail to express its expressivity its phenotype in the f1 heterozygous so this will be pink color so this will be actually pink color and in the f2 generation in the f2 generation let's do a punit square r w r w it is actually capital r capital r it is r w r w and w w so in the punit square we get r r r w r w and w w according to mendel we know that r and r actually red color and w and w also white color but it is incomplete dominance and in incomplete dominance the dominant allele fail to express its expressivity its phenotype in the f1 heterozygous so basically the r and w will be pink color so the r w which actually should be red color according to mendel but it due to the incomplete dominance condition it become pink color so basically 
the phenotype of incomplete dominance is phenotype is 1 is to 2 is to 1 1 because 1 red 2 because 2 pink and 1 because 1 white is present and the genotype also the genotype also 1 is to 2 is to 1 so basically the incomplete dominance want to state that when the homozygous dominant allele the when the uh, when the homozygous dominant allele fail to express its expressivity its phenotype in the f1 generation this condition will be termed as incomplete dominance and we take trait of flower color so basically we take trait of flower color so we take trait of flower color one is red color another one is actually white color and the r allele, r allele actually responsible for the red color and the w allele is responsible for the white color the capital the d that actually stand for dominant the red allele is the r which is actually responsible for the red color is the dominant allele and the w which is actually actually responsible for the white color is recessive and we did a we did a cross in between them and we get r w in the f1 heterozygous and due to the incomplete dominance condition according to mendel this should be actually red but due to the incomplete dominance situation the the homozygous dominant allele failed to express in the f1 heterozygous and due to this the color become pink the color become pink and then in the f2 generation we get capi the we get rr rw rw and ww and according to mendel the capital r capital r is red according to mendel the ww is red but according to mendel the capital r and capital w should be red but due to the incomplete dominant state it become pink it become pink color and the the phenotype for the incomplete dominance is actually 1 is to 2 is to 1 the genotype also 1 is to 2 is to 1 now we will be talking about the co-dominance now we will be talking about the co-dominance i mean what actually co-dominant one to state so in the in, in the co-dominance the homo Jigos dominant allele and also the homo gigas recessive allele express themselves in the hetero jai gas in the equal proportion i mean the 50 percent 50 percent that means the hetero gas that will come in the f1 generation will have the phenotype of both of the allele that means in the heterozygous the homozygous dominant allele, allele along with the homozygous recessive allele both will express in the heterozygous 50 percent proportion that means in the homozygous in the heterozygous in the f1 in the heterozygous the homozygous dominant allele along with the homozygous recessive allele both will express in the f1 heterozygous in equal proportion and and suppose we take an example from abo blood group suppose we are taking example from abo blood group suppose we 
we actually we know that for a for a b blood group for a b blood group the genotype is actually i a and i b so suppose we take example from a b o blood group we we are going to cross i a i b along with the i a and i b so what we will get we have to do a punit square in the punit square it is actually i a i b it is actually i a and it is actually i b the blood the blood group that will come from this cross is i a i a i a i b i a i b and also i b and i b so basically the blood group the 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 blood group that came from this cross are i a i a i mean the a blood group i a i b i mean the a b blood group i b i b i mean the b blood group so in this case the a b blood group came from this cross because the i a allele along with the i b allele both are expressing its effect in the heterozygous in the heterozygous both the allele are expressing themselves in the heterozygous that's why ab blood group came both the allele are expressing themselves in this case the dominant allele the dominant allele the homozygous dominant allele is not fail itself to express in the heterozygous both the homozygous dominant and homozygous receptor both the allele are expressing them, themselves in the heterozygous f1 in the equal proportion that's why the ab blood group k so this type of conditions are called actually the codominance and in codominance the phenotype is actually 1 is to 2 is to 1 genotype 1 is to 2 is to 1 so i hope you guys have understand what is actually one what is actually incomplete dominance and what is actually codominance so if you guys like this video then do like and subscribe my channel thank you so much